It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Yankee and Kraut. It's a bottle of the Eden Pale Ale coming in at 5.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. They've actually put, which is quite, it, it, it's, it's abused me this has, um, imported by Beer 51. <laughs> This bottle was sent to me by beer52.com. 52 weeks in a year, not 51. Um, I wonder why they did that. Beer 51. Missed it by a week. Check out beer, beer52.com, not beer51.com. <laughs> God knows where that'll send you. Right, off we go. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Interesting one. Lots of carbonation in the neck of the bottle and the, the the head of the, what would be the head of the beer in the glass is just kind of like falling in on itself. It's definitely a bottle conditioned beer. You can see all the sediment there riding up the neck of the bottle. Let's get the beer into a glass, see what we get. I'll have a look in a moment. Right, we'll let the head settle down. We've got a forefinger, slightly off white head, hazy, amber, bottle conditioned beer. Lots of carbonation. Uh, they're from... I don't even know. There's nothing, there's nothing on the back. Yankee and Kraut. This is the first time I've ever done a beer. I'm, I don't know, sounds like German, Kraut, German. Sorry if I've offended anybody. Just taking a wild stab at this because... Real kind of strange one that. Normally a brewer will at least give their address or their telephone number or something. You know, if there was something wrong with this beer, you'd have to Google up the the name of the brewery there and get in contact with them that way. But there's people out there who don't. They just look at the bottle and go, I'm going to contact these. DE. The website's DE. So it's, it's, it's Germany. It's a German brewery. Right. For the moment, that's as much beer as we're able to get in the glass. Um, I, I mentioned earlier it's bottle condition, good levels of carbonation, hazy, kind of amber, marmalade coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about marmalade in the colours. It's marmalade in the aroma as well. Marmalade on rye. Grapefruit, citrus, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. A little bit of sweet malt. Biscuitiness. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. really carbonated really kind of beer hisses and fizzes and pushes around the inside of the mouth grapefruit orange peel fleshy blood orange holding the beer in the mouth it's like it's like trying to break free. It's like it's like what's that advert with um It's a bit like Tom and Jet is it Tom and Jenny? Tom and Jenny is it Tom and Jenny the cat and the bird? That's Tom and Jerry, isn't it? It's a bit like when Tom has Jerry in his mouth and the and, and, and Tom's mouth is going mad because he's got a bird in his mouth trying to get out. 
I felt like the carbonation was that kind of almost violent. It was, it was, it was kind of forcing the beer around and <laughs> exploding on the, on the mouth there. Um, it's most definitely going to be, well, we can see here it's bottle condition. Let's get the rest of the beer in the glass. It's nice, it's very nice. Good example of a, a hoppy pale ale, American style. Cool. Really, really kind of booming with carbonation. And, and lots of flavour as well, it's not just carbonation, it's, I, I mentioned blood orange, grapefruit, there's a nice balance to the beer as well. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, bitterness on the back end. It's good, it's really good. Uh, it's now time to, we're going to get the snack ball out everybody. Um, I'm going to go straight in, because I fancy them. All these snacks were sent to me by a company called PubSupper.com. Check them out. And this is a bag of Mr. Tubbs Pork Crackling Zingy Salt and Vinegar. Premium Hand Double Cooked. Unleash the hog. Hand Double Cooked Premium Pork Crackling with the finest ingredients and seasoning. Mr. Tubbs.net. 28 grams. Cool. Oh, yeah, let's... Let's um, let's snackle, shall we? There we are. There's a look at them. Really nice. Oh, oh. oh blimey! Blooming that. Oh, they're really piggy. They're <laughs> really. Oh, oh, oh. They're really kind of like, like you're rolling around in the, in the pen with the pigs, licking them. <laughs> oh. Oh. They're really piggy. And they, they, yeah, you've got the salt and vinegar. The salt, the salt on these, look at the salt, that's ridiculous, the amount of salt on there, blue my neck. I need some beer to wash it down with. <laughs> Blimey! <coughs> it's like half a gallon of vinegar and a whole bag of salt on that one pork scratching. And they're really piggy as well. Anyway, let's whew, rate this Yankee and Kraut Eden Pale Ale 5.5% ABV. I like it, it's really good. It's really zesty, really zingy. The carbonation really forces that beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Grapefruit, fleshy blood orange, a little bit of sweetness to balance off that bitterness on the back end. It's a lovely beer, it's, it's an 8 out of 10 for me. 8 out of 10 for me, little craft beer. Mr. Tubbs Pork Crackling, blimey, they're from West Felton. The Cross West Felton, the postcode is SY. I don't know. I don't know where SY is in, in the, the land of the UK. Um, they're properly, and they were from the top. That, that pork scratching with all that salt on, 
was from the top of the bag. God knows what it's going to be like at the bottom. Goodness knows what. I like it. <laughs> they, they've just made me smile, you know, and, and cough and splutter and nearly fall on the floor. Um, I think they need refining, personally. That's my honest opinion. I think there's a little bit too much salt on those poor old um, pork scratchings. They're the 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.